and get my mind off on Keisha. <laughs> Act strength, man. The natural gritter is back here. You know what I'm saying? We got another one today is what? October 9th, Saturday. So I just wanted to leave y'all with a message right quick, man. Uh, I'm not even gonna lie, man. I wanted to talk about how to keep going like when stuff starts to get in the way. You know what I'm saying? It's the hardest thing ever. It is not impossible, but it feels impossible. This bodybuilding is like, what, four weeks remaining? And I see what people talk about when it's like, when they say, it ain't hard to stay on a diet. It's not hard to continue training. The hard part, literally, the hardest part of this whole process is staying locked in. That is the, you know, you work so hard to keep your mind on track. And the smallest thing, the smallest little thing will try to throw you off. And you really got to be a strong, mental savage. You know what I'm saying? Can't just be a regular, average human being. Nah, you can't You can't be like that. Because if you be like that, you're going to be like the rest of the world. And look at the rest of the world. You know what I'm saying? 98%. Are you trying to be that 2%? You know? So, I try to say this to whoever come to me and ask me about it, man. It's like the hardest part is staying locked in. Next, nutrition. Next, training. You know what I'm saying? But that mental comes first. If you don't have that, I don't care how much talent you have. You will fail. You will drop. <laughs> you will drop by the waistline. That's just facts. That's just real. <laughs> Being able to... Stay mentally focused at all times. You know what I'm saying? That's why I like to do a lot more reading. I like to read a lot. You know what I'm saying? Books that's going to be good for my mental, stimulate my mind. Because it's like, you got to have a strong mental to be able to survive in this life, man. Like, for real, for real. If you don't, you're going to get ate up. Like, cold truth. You're going to get eight. You know what I'm saying? Somebody who's going to come out of the blue, out of the woodworks, who has that mental capacity to freaking go hard and stay locked in is gonna come up out of nowhere and wipe, just gonna wipe, wipe you like toilet paper. You know what I'm saying? Simple. Hey, call it what you want, man. Hey, that's that's what it is. They gonna wipe your ass away. You know what I'm saying? So it's up to you to keep that discipline, keep that mental focus, and stay locked in. Because if not, one of their first questions is like, you don't seem like a very social person. It's not that I'm not sociable. It's not that I'm interacting. It's more so I have a goal. And 10 times out of 10, you have no idea what that goal requires. It requires focus, discipline. You know what I'm saying? Determination, ambition. The same determination and ambition you use to get off work, go home, uh, probably go through the drive-thru before you go home, watch your favorite TV show, probably have a beer or something, or, you know what I'm saying? Like, how you put determination into that, it's the same for me, except I'm doing this. So, I just wanted to say that, man. Always stay locked in, bro, because if not, somebody like me is going to come up out of nowhere and wipe your ass up. I ain't even going to speak on the first two outcomes, but that was the mental, you know what I'm saying? That was my mental process for the first two events and now leading into this one. And it ain't got nothing to do with just my shows. It's just like how I move in life, you know what I'm saying? Like, I talk for a purpose. I don't talk just to hear myself talk, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's what a lot of people be doing and I just be like, wow, okay. But, you know, to each his own, man. To each his own. And I'm not mad at nobody. I'm just focused on me, man. But yeah, like I said, I talk for purpose. Other people just talk just to hear themselves. You know what I'm saying? Probably because, well, whatever the reason is. But yeah. So, I'm going to leave you all with that, man. Like I said, we got four weeks left, man. That is no time for error. No time to play. That seems like a lot to y'all, but it ain't. Like... You ain't going to know until you actually do it. You know what I'm saying? Until you actually step up, you know what I'm saying, and get on that next level. Because that's what it's about. You can talk about it like I was told. You can talk about it all day. You can post about it on Instagram. You can do all that, all, all 
that's fine, Will and Danny. But at the end of the day, there's only a few people in that ring. It's only a few people on that court. It's only a few people on that stage. You know what I'm saying? And I'm one of them. <laughs> and I'm coming, bro. I'm too. Who I'm telling you? God is good. God is great. By the grace of God, I am here, man. And I t ooh, it's because it's been a long time coming. It's been a long time coming. I was supposed to do my first show, 2018. It's 2021. Three years done passed by. You know what I'm saying? Like, it just shows you that timing is everything, man. And hard work always pays off. I say that all the time. I'm going to say that to the death. Like, hard work always pays off. If you doubt somebody because they work is not where you want it to be, yeah, I said it. You mad because their work is not where you want it to be, and you decide that, oh, this person seems like he's doing a little bit better or he has a little bit more fit. Nah, 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 nah. It don't work that way. Because what you did, you just set yourself up to fail by doing that. You know what I'm saying? Just a little game right there, so. I ain't going to get into too much of that. But yeah, like I said, four weeks left, man. We coming hard. We coming strong. L.A. Governor's Cup, bruh. Let's get it. Coach, we working.